Inocente, sin duense, soy un racha who want beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies I put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone it's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita family. Now, I've seen some comments, some people saying, You're too grown to be making these videos. <laughs> First and foremost, I'm 21. I probably look a lot older. Sorry about that, but I am 21. And if you can be in a garage in a Tesla too, reporting cheese mint, you do it for a check too. <laughs> yeah, feel me. I ain't lying here. There's no shame here. I'm always honest with you guys. There, there's no shame here, baby. And I'm not as bad as Keemstar. You know what I'm saying? That's like a viejo sote. <laughs> yeah, feel me. Like if you think I'm bad, there's Keemstar. So go go attack Keemstar because that's a viejo sote. <laughs> yeah, feel me. And I'm still 21 in the, in the youth generation of the cheese mint. There's no age for cheese mint, baby. Now don't forget, we're doing a $500 giveaway on the previous video. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to i have one question why do all tiktokers have the same bird nest hairstyle <laughs> Now, the first thing that we're going to get into, which is probably going to be on TikTok all day again, yeah, feel me. But the first thing that we're going to get into, Piaka recently had made this video, Pika de Gallo. Now, in this video, she addressed a couple of things. She addressed the Almodor situation, the Foro situation, the Bad Wiggy situation, and the Geronimo situation. Now, she talked about Almodor, and she explained basically how he kind of reversed the story and, and explained how he was more hitting on her. And I, I try to take the camera away from him and you know how whenever things are fresh and you live stream like people are gonna ask you about the topic you know so I felt like he was getting confronted with that a lot and he was not handling it the way that he should have I was just trying to like steer the conversation into a different way because it was just flooded with like you know couple shit like we like we were a couple and i really didn't like now basically she had said that she purchased these crystals she left it in the car she never left this intentionally to leave a crystal she said that she basically didn't want him to even be in love with her now she also mentioned the whole situation with heronimo about the cheating she said that she basically she's not gonna put the screenshots up because she doesn't want to dig it even more deeper and jose one of from the dad wiggies i believe responded to the situation along with amador that responded basically to the whole situation and they had this to say my I decided that i'm not going to post any of the proof that i have of him cheating in this video or just in general because not only would that not solve anything at this point but like it's just for everyone's entertainment purposes and it's going to not only put me through it again but publicly and there was no receipts at all there was no copies. receipts of that she literally said you know i have receipts of ghetto but like i'm not gonna show them like I don't know. it was like 50 minutes of nothing <laughs> i don't know i really don't know the longer i make my video the more the, the more the more people are gonna believe me so basically one of the dad wiggies you know what i'm saying and he's closer to heronimo so this can actually be maybe you know a direct response that we're getting from heronimo because one of the dad wiggies basically said that it was a whole lot of nothing in these 50 minutes and she, he basically said this was a bunch of Pfft. and i said what and you can see amador in the top you know basically denying everything as well now this is just like a telenovela that's just getting better and better and better yeah i feel it's like it's getting juicy i never thought tiktok drama would interest me you know what i'm saying i love my hot cheeto influencers i miss jenny 69 yeah feel me that's my baby girl but aside from that she also addressed the whole uh, for situation how basically she said business is business you feel me sorry about that ah, ah, ah basically she said that she did more than what she was even supposed to do you know what i'm saying for her promotion for the yours truly was doing the tiktokers with the yours truly merch the bedazzle etc etc and she was basically calling out fora why did he make this instagram live and then fora responded again and had this to say my liars manipulators all hollywood people would do anything to make themselves not look bad especially when they're in the wrong hello if i call you love it don't mean i want to give you the mic 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 sorry i hate to ruin your day it means i'm being polite and i was raised with respect never have i crossed in line with a female i say that to everyone i meet don't flatter yourself really wish you had more than that anyways it was a good try saving yourself maybe next time love I defended her and I told everyone not to bash this girl because she felt like giving up. I didn't bash her. I was disappointed when she showed up late to the shoot, wasn't keeping it to what she agreed with. All business.
no swipe ups were posted didn't fulfill the agreement management also been waiting on that sheesh don't hit me up only real ones knows what's happening <laughs> bro did you hear jt trump is calling out different socials <laughs> and just when you thought it was over here rip take a step back big felly we forgot about the powerpuff girls bad wigga thirst you don't remember emily said don't believe everything you see on the internet and pyaka released that they're actually fake and i said what My something was going on between them and i was like girl i know like you're not telling me like you haven't told me you know like i was basically like dude you haven't talked to me you know and she looked at me like super like like with the saddest eyes. <laughs> and she was just like, I know, it's because we don't trust you. <laughs> and I was like that, like even Julie had texted me. I just want to lay it down straight right now. The girls and I haven't spoken a single brr negative word on you. So please do me and the girls a favor and keep our names out of your mouth, Pyaka. Be mature and move on. You stop talking to us. If you felt like we were fake, I'd love to hear it because it's the first time I'm hearing it. And from a YouTube video, are you serious right now? If you're mad because I asked you to take down a part of your vlog, just say that, broski. Like, you created such a mess and you keep digging yourself deeper and deeper. Eventually, ghosting your friends just because they don't agree with you is going to catch up to you. Stop being immature and childish right now after she saw the Amador video and they all believed that I was talking shit. I have, I literally have not spoken on them for, for nothing. I, when I, whenever I noticed that, I didn't even unfollow them. Whenever I noticed that they unfollowed me, I unfollowed them. I just recently unfollowed Emily because I've seen her talking about me on her live. They're using this situation to capitalize off of assassinating my character and basically kicking me while I'm so that Emily had said that she doesn't trust her that basically they can't that she can't say anything to her because she can't she doesn't trust her now the thing to me that was kind of a little bit weird and suspicious was Julie because Julie kind of has like this personnel on TikTok that's kind of like the best way I can describe her is this emoji Mike Zubinger but the way she DM Pyaka she said Come, come here, 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 come here for a couple of seconds, big fella. I said, damn. And she basically cussed her out. She said, keep your name out of my mouth. And I said, shit. Now, like I said, I'm not really picking sides, you know what I'm saying? My job here is just to report the damn cheese, man. This is just like a telenovela. But make sure to comment down below what do you guys think of this whole situation overall. Comment down below. And the next thing that I'm going to talk about, did you guys see with London and Shyla? And the thing that doesn't make sense to me is you made this video basically saying, Go by. I'm not making YouTube videos no more. We done. And then prior back, you also said that you're not going to put your daughter in the videos because you, you want to respect her privacy. You made this new recent video where you explained basically that that you're gonna take over the channel? That I would take over and this will now become my channel. Well, obviously me and Soli, and Soli will be on here sometimes. It's for our daughter, for me personally, I feel like I wanna respect her privacy. Like she visibly almost never wants to be on camera. Like, so this will be my channel, which um, that's not to say Landon won't uh, ever be on here. Who knows, he might come on here, he might be on here a couple times. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous. But it just doesn't make sense as to the first clip that you're saying that you want to respect her privacy and then in this clip now you're saying basically no, 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 you're good. It was just a free try. And aside from that, people also noticed that she removed a couple of pictures. Both of them basically removed pictures of each other. We don't know if they archived, archived the pictures, however you want to say. Now, she said that it's because of the whole boxing situation that she's going to take over the channel. But what do you guys think of this situation? Make sure to comment down below. And for the world news, something that really does matter. None of this TikTok boo-boo. Yeah, feel me. Something that we really do cover in this channel. We always talk about world news at the end of the video. Did you guys see in Colombia? Yeah, feel me. A lot of people were actually protesting. And the reason being was that they recently passed um, some sort of tax increase in Colombia. And I think they actually took the increase back. But the damage was already done because the government to my knowledge is actually harming the citizens taking innocent lives for peacefully protesting and there's actually videos after videos of people losing their lives you know what i'm saying for no reason and unnecessary beatings that are happening right now and people are, are recording it wi-fi is being cut down uh so people can't post it mike <laughs> 
25 de mayo, 2021, Palo Blanco es una zona de guerra. ¡Ayuda! ¡Ayuda! ¿De arriba? Sí. ¡Hala, agáchate, mi vida! But my prayers do go out to Colombia, especially during COVID, a lot of the jobs were lost. So a lot of people are protesting and a lot of people are losing their lives. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Every subscription matters, helps the cheese muscles grow every single day. Make sure to follow my Instagram and don't forget the $500 giveaway on the last video. All you have to do is just comment uh, a cheese man comment with your cash app and have a great day. Señorita talla chica y talla mediana. Le cobro de este lado, por favor. Oye, oye, hace rato estábamos, este, platicando, platicando ya, allá arriba, todos, todos, como siempre. Y este, estábamos hablando, no, que yo trabajaba en tal lugar, que yo trabajaba en este lugar. Y este, y Magali dice, no, pues ahora yo estoy aquí de gerenta. Y a mí se me sale, se me sale decirle de broma. Sí, pero ¿por qué será que ahora estás de gerenta? <risa> pero de broma, de broma, no en ningún momento para faltarle el respeto ni nada. Pues ya sabes cómo nos llevamos todos. <risa> Como que se molestó. Le cobro $2,999, señorita, por favor. Como que se molestó. Nada más me hizo su cara. Oye, si no puede entender lo que es una broma, pues es su problema. No, a mí me vale mal. <risa>